Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have my August book of the month box, so let's check it out and see what's inside. And this month, for the first time ever, I actually chose three of the book of the month choices. Let's see what we have. The first one is by Lisa Jewell. This one is called None of This is True. I think this is the first book I've ever read from Lisa Jewell. I know people love her. This is a thriller and the quick take is a podcaster in her subjects' lives become increasingly intertwined in this twisty tale where fact and fiction compete. So I think this will be the first one I read this month. I read a very twisty thriller in July. I'll share that one with you in just a few minutes. The next book I chose is a memoir. I love memoirs. I actually went through a season where all I read were memoirs. So I'm excited that this was one of the choices this month. This one's called The Many Lives of Mama Love by Laura Love Harden. And the quick take on this one is from suburban soccer mom to convicted felon to best-selling ghostwriter. Her remarkable true story is totally riveting. And my last choice for the month of August is Happiness Falls. This is a literary fiction by Angie Kim. Quick take of this one is one biracial family grapples with the meaning of happiness and their lives when their father suddenly goes missing. This is the first month I've chosen all three choices from the book of the month selections. They give about five books every month, but I normally only choose one, maybe two, and then I choose some older books from the add-on section. But all three of these are book of the month choices. This is what I'll be reading this month. The other book of the month choices for August are A Magical Realism Called Family Lore by Elizabeth Acevedo, a literary fiction called Shark Heart by Emily Habit, and a horror called Vampires of El Norte by Isabel Canas. At the bottom of the box we have this month's bookmark, My Books think I'm cool. I wanted to go over last month's books with you. The first one, the book of the month choice was The Connollys of County Down. Although this wasn't my favorite book I've read in a while, it was definitely entertaining. This one is a family drama about three siblings that live together. It focuses on one of the siblings, Tara. She just got out of prison on a drug charge and it's just her foray back into life as normal as she can and then just all of the things that are happening that are kind of holding her back. There were themes of loyalty. There are also times when the characters made such terrible choices and you just wanted to jump into the book and shake them. But all in all, I did enjoy it. And if you like family dramas, you may want to check this one out. My favorite book of the month. This is by Riley Sager. The only one left. This is the first book I have read by this author. If I could describe this book in one word, it would be twisty. This book was so twisty. This book is about Lenora Hope and allegedly she killed her parents and hung her sister in the 1920s. And this book takes place in 1983 when a caretaker comes to take care of Lenora. She is wheelchair bound and Kit starts to get to the bottom of it to find out if Lenora really is guilty of killing her parents and her sister. And I'm telling you, this one is such an interesting, fun ride. I highly recommend it. This one is called The Only One Left. The next book I read was I Have Some Questions For You. This one was super buzzed about, so I was so excited to read it. But this one was so hard for me to get into. This book is about a podcaster, Bodie Kane, and she goes back to her boarding school over 20 years later. She's doing one of those January classes. It's about two weeks long, and she is teaching her students about podcasting. One of her students decides to do a podcast on a murder that occurred while Bodhi was a student there. And the whole book, they start unraveling the case, finding some things that were missed the first time around 20 years ago. And I love the basis of it, and it does touch on a lot of important subjects, but she just took a really long time getting there. I think they could have cut this five third. I'm glad I finished it. I did like the ending, but it was definitely rough getting there. And that was everything in this month's Book of the Month box. I'm so excited about this month's books. Let me know in the comments below what you are reading. And as always, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.